Okay, so I wanted to talk a bit like about change. This is not a fitness thing. Um, but change in life. But I hope what I'm going to try to talk about you know, touches at least one person. You know, because we're all... We all go through shit in life. And there's no changing that. You know, change happens. Be that a forced change. It's like a set upon you. An adaptive change. A change that you're happy and excited about. Or a change that scares you to your fucking soul. Because change is scary. It's okay to be afraid. You know, as a man, like, or... Well, not a man brought up in today's world, but from the 80s, you know, because I'm so old. But, you know, a man's not supposed to be afraid, not to sh supposed to show weakness. None of us are the big tough guys we put off to be. But change is scary because it's just human nature where we, we find comfort in routine. And the familiar familiarity yeah, of situations, people, surroundings, all of that. Even if they aren't the most ideal, even if they're unhealthy, even if they're toxic, we still find comfort in that. Because it's what we're used to. Almost like a blanket like a toddler has. It's the same thing with our life. Like we get stuck in, in comfort. And I don't know. Comfort's a dangerous place. You can't be complacent. But that's a whole other topic. Um, but the reason we get afraid and we fear that shit, like, we start to feel, like, tight in our own skin. I'm sure some of you can relate to this. We kind of feel uncomfortable in our surroundings. Things don't make sense like they used to. We perceive things differently. We hear things differently. We even see the world differently. All of a sudden, the sky is like a different shade of fucking blue. The reason we feel like uncomfortable and unsure and you know, tighten our own skin, it's because we're growing. This is evolution. You are a bigger, better, stronger person than you were before. So get rid of that fucking shell that you lived in, that blanket you wore for years. You know, that old shell that you wore maybe battle scar beat to fucking hell but those are just old wounds take those as fucking lessons move on, be stronger we can't be victims of circumstance in anything in life so we all go through bad shit, we all perceive it differently I don't care what form of trauma it is how you perceive it is what matters. Don't let anybody tell you you're overreacting to something. Within, de within <laughs> degree. But you get what I'm saying. You know, bad shit is bad shit. But we can't let it break who we are. We can't let it make us worse. It will change us, that's for damn sure. But it's in you to let it change you for the better. Is that saying like I don't know it's like 10% of how things affect you and 90% of how you react to them or something like that bad shit fucking happens but blessings do come in fucking raindrops it's hard to see that sometimes it's really hard to see that but you know, I may be going through a part of my life where big change is about to happen yeah, I'm scared. <laughs> I'm fucking terrified. It's because the uncertainty. You get to the point where it's like you're not sure if the next step you take is the right step. But, you see, in this journey we call life, we all walk through it. We take different paths to get to the end. We all, be, we all get to the same end point, end point. But you don't get through it by standing fucking still. We have to take the next step, or we're never gonna you know, see all that this life has for us. So, if you're going through shit, 
when you feel like change is coming or you have to change to better yourself, to better whatever it is. I'm with you. I'm fucking afraid. But take that next step. If you need to take that next step with somebody you trust and supports you, do it. If you have to do it alone, do it. Because sometimes we're fucking alone. And if you're lucky enough to do it holding the hand of somebody that you care about and they care about you, grab that fucking hand so tight and start walking because they're going through the same fucking thing. I talk like I'm old, I'm only fucking 33, but like, what I've learned like with adulthood so far is none of us have any fucking clue what we're doing. We're all afraid. So, whatever you're fucking fighting, you know, sometimes we have to be selfish and put ourselves first. Because our happiness is nobody's responsibility but our own. You can't rely on anybody else to make you happy. You know, and if you have family members, you know, children, you know, they want a happier you. Kids can see when shit's off. And that impacts them in the long run, too. So if you have to make a change, Make a fucking change. 